You look upset. Is something wrong? I lost my sheet music. It's a disaster. Francis asked me to play a song for his wedding and I have to practice. When was the last time you saw it? Uh, I practiced when I was babysitting the twins, um, after they'd gone to sleep. Maybe Emmy and Finn know something? I if you see the sheet music, will you tell me? You better believe I will become the best sheet music detective. Um, okay. You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. <laughs> if I pinch one nostril, I can blow snot bubbles out of the other one. If I asked you about Juliet's sheet music, you would say... <laughs> what does that silence mean? That I have nothing to say. Are you sure it didn't mysteriously end up with your stuff? That's silly. Emmy. Silly. What's black, white, and lets you play cool tunes? Uh... Cheat music! Juliet's. Ring a bell? N no Then, be honest. What? I, I didn't take it! Emmy did! I don't even know how I know that. I didn't see her do it. And she'll be mad if she finds out I told! Don't worry. You did the right thing. I might have to step up my game. Maybe the coven knows of a magic solution to my problem. This will make farm chores a little easier. Look at the head scratches. You that swim, run, or fly, please let me travel in your mind's eye.
Should I go to sleep? out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that you're not used to teleportation. <laughs> so what you doing? I was just watering my crops. By hand? Care wheels and grease, girl. <laughs> just because you're human doesn't mean you have to stick with human tech. <laughs> if you want to learn a more efficient method, swing by my shop anytime. <laughs> See ya. Wait, I hate when you do that. Who are you talking to? Thomas! I was just talking to my... my watering can. I do that sometimes. Why are you here? I was checking to see if your well's working again now that the drought's over. But I can see it is, so I'll be on my way. Wash ashores. Came! Ha! Ready to make your first whirly gig? Zephyr, you can't just pop up in my farm like that. Now Thomas thinks I talk to my watering can. Oh, Thomas. 
He really needs more help around his farm. I wish I could talk to him sometime, but, well, rules are rules. Anyway, uh, a whirligig is an enchanted machine that'll take care of farm chores for you. You can build one for watering your plants, chopping down trees, or harvesting crops. They'll save you lots of time. We'll need some metals to build your first one. Bring them to me, and I'll get to work on it right away. Have the items we need to make your first whirly gig? Yes, here they are. Great! Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready.
The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. Shelby, do you have a familiar too? I got, uh, four right now, but I've had more. <laughs> only fools think you can have only one familiar. Your life changes every day, doesn't it? You heard about the debate coming up? I sure did. I didn't think towns this small had political debates. Oh, trust me. Growing up in Fairhaven taught me that there's no town too small for local election drama. And, uh, speaking of drama, <laughs> I have an idea that'll make the debate unforgettable. Oh, this should be good. Let's hear it. Oh, I knew you'd be interested. I don't want to hurt Otto, even though he's hurt my business by doubling liquor taxes. I just think it'd be good for the guy to eat a slice of humble pie, which... If eaten before the debate, we'll make him cluck like the chicken he is. And you want me to make this humble pie, right? Yeah, but it's a special pie. It's got a potion. I know, journeyman. It was figurative. So, are you in? Why not? It'll be funny. Ah, let's get to work, novice. You'll need bones, some silver essence, and a bake of pumpkin pie. Brew that up and bring me the drop. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> Hey, journeyman. You wouldn't happen to know a spell to help me find something that's missing, would you? I do happen to know what you're looking for to find what you're looking for. <laughs> you need to learn some scrying. Which is what? It's basically looking into a magic mirror and asking it to find stuff for you. It works on anything. People, possessions, whatever. Witches usually use pools of water because water has its own magical properties. A basin of water is best so you can more easily contain the spell. Build one of these scrying basins in your sanctum and then pour this potion into it. Say the name of who or what you're looking for and it'll do the rest. Autumn is the time when the veil between worlds is at its thinnest. Traveling to the gloaming is easier than ever, which means we must recast the glamour over the stone circle. The glamour? I'm sorry, what is that? It's a spell that conceals our circle from prying eyes. Gloria and Giacomo were our best glamour casters. They kept the rest of Fairhaven from getting too close by accident. Now that they're both gone, the task falls to us. The Farseer Adept and I will cast the glamour, but once we do that, we'll all need to drink a potion that allows us to see through the glamour and find the stone circle. The potions are brewed from the flower of the hedgehog grass, which only grows in the gloaming. Two of you will need to go retrieve it. I wanna go. Can I? You're still an acolyte, and acolytes can't go into the gloaming. Oh, so it's time for you to be promoted. From this day on, you'll be known as Herbalist. And to celebrate, I whipped you up some spirit flame. Here you go, Herbalist. Little will visitors to your shop know they're dealing with a bona fide certified member of the Fairhaven Coven. Congrats! Grandma would be so proud of you. Novice and Herbalist, the two of you will visit the outskirts of the gloaming and retrieve six hedgehog grass flowers. Adept, you will accompany them. I can't think of better company. When you're ready, speak to me again, and I will place the first keystone in its column. About dang time.
Is my whirly gig done? Yep, here it is. Um, it doesn't do much. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I haven't powered it yet, silly. I'll deliver the whirly gig to your home free of charge. But you'll need a powered gem like this one to power it. Now this baby will do a great job, but you won't last forever. Different gems can hold different charges. If you bring me more, I can charge them so you can replace this one when it runs out. I can also make other kinds of whirly gigs for different tasks. Uh, but won't my neighbors notice that I have a magical device watering my crops for me? If anyone asks, just say you imported it from Europe. And people will believe me? Yeah! How else do you think Hazel ran the farm on her own all those years? There's one of my favorite citizens. I want to make a banner to hang up at our victory party in the mayor's mansion. Auto soft, Fairhaven strong. Oh, victory party. Feeling confident, I see. Why wouldn't I be? Has anyone said they actually plan to vote for the new guy? They hardly know him. <laughs> of course they don't. Anyway, can you supply me with some fabric for the banner? Uh, 
Actually, I'm busy. It's harvest season, you know. Oh, right. Well, I better not catch you doing any favors for the other guy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Water some plants for me today? but it's so dang hard to get an electrical charge reading without my Versorium. So, pfft, pfft, over and over. S sorry without your what now? My Versorium. It's an incantation-powered device that detects electric charges. I use it for everything. Charge up wires with magical energy, and you've got dangerous currents on your hands. Except I haven't seen the Versorium since I last went into the mines. So you lost it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Classic Zephyr. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, if you see a little metal box covered in runes down there, uh, yeah, could you pick it up? Sure. As long as it doesn't spark my fingers off. Hey, Feedy, get to it.
Sorium! Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe you kept experimenting this whole time without it. Ah, uh, goblins build up resistance to electrical shocks over time. Oh, but the big currents still make me sit straight up, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me a hand. Dullness binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me slightly. Oh, come in, come in, Tara. Care for a muffin? Oh, I'm celebrating. I've just finished analyzing my first set of barometric readings. They suggest there's some sort of pressure barrier around the island. There really is something odd happening here. Tell me, have you noticed anything dodgy about the weather since you've arrived? Well, yes, but global warming is causing strange weather everywhere, right? Uh-uh, not like this. I've never seen anything like this pattern before. I have to get to the bottom of this. What was grad school for otherwise? Sometimes I wasn't certain I'd make it. But now, here I am, in my own weather observatory. Oh, listen to me, Ramble. You're very kind, Tara. Come back anytime. <laughs> Have you got my silk then? Here it is, homegrown mulberry silk. Oh, fantastic! And I appreciate you letting our worm friends take the time to hatch from their cocoons on their own. Fancy joining me for the first flight? Sure. See, the balloon is set to pop at just the right altitude. Then the parachute brings it safely back down so we can read all the data. Neat! If this launch is a success, I might give it a go in that strange forest past Parker's workshop. Reckon there's plenty to see over there. Ah, uh, thanks for your help, Tara. I would know I'm new here, and it was right decent of you. Thank you. 
should I go? Time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make them fast. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag.
Come on, Mutilda, please! Uh, is this a bad time? Ugh, I don't even care enough to be embarrassed anymore. I can't get close enough to Mutilda to milk her. What? She's not a Marty fan? That's more than that. She got her vaccine shots recently, and now she's skittish. She won't let anyone approach her. I never thought ranching would be easy. But I never imagined it could be this hard. All my life, I worked for my dad in the city, helping him with his consulting business. I'm used to sending rapid-fire emails and picking the perfect spot for a business lunch, but calming animals? Why did I think I could figure that out? Maybe I should just go back to the city. Just... act calm and soothing. Animals can tell when you're desperate. I know, I know. But it's hard to just be calm when I don't feel that way. Why don't you try approaching her slowly and speaking in a gentle voice? If you say so. It's okay, Mutilda. I'm not going to hurt you. No, no, no. You have to use a real baby voice. Are you a good girl? Are you a cow? Have you ever been a cow? <gasps> it worked! You are a cattle genius! I have many talents. Hey, thanks for helping me. You could have just walked away, but you didn't. your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Dinner. Well, that's not what I would have called her, but suit yourself.
Remember the Versorium you found for me? Well, you'll never guess what I figured out when I went sniffing around that chair from the summer festival. It's the crack of dawn, so I hope it's good. So, uh, okay. Uh, last winter, I was running some experiments on that chair. Legend says it's made of the same wood as the wand tree. Zephyr! seem relevant before? No! No, because when I tried attaching some magical lodestones to see if I could detect any currents, nothing. But when I tested it with the Versorium, the magical current readings went through the roof! Here's my hypothesis. Those lodestones prime the chair to receive magic, and when you sat in it, BOOM! The chair brought you right back to that place the lodestones came from. Ravenwood Hollow. Ravenwood Hollow. It was an accident, promise. Can, oh, uh, can you keep this a secret from Perry? I won't tell. I can see Perry getting really mad. She sure might. <laughs> Love her to death, but yep. Uh, thank you, Tara. Next time you go attaching lodestones to something... Oh, <laughs> I won't make that mistake again. Whoa. See you back in Ravenwood Hollow, my friend.
I need to brew some scrying potion tea. So tired. <sighs> Please, scrying bowl. I'm looking for Juliet's music. It's Juliet's. She left it in our house. Finders keepers. Anyway, I'll give it back once I figure out how it works. Huh? Juliet makes such pretty sounds that come out of the guitar. I want to figure out how she does it. You can't just take other people's things like this. Juliet's been worried. I didn't mean to have it for this long. Okay, you can give it back. Thank you, Emmy. Juliet will appreciate it. Wait, how did you figure out it was me? Uh, lucky guess.
Hey, Woody! Chop, chop! Hey, fishy! Go fish! Hey, Miney! It's off to work you go! I have something for you. <gasps> you did it! I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? Oh, the wind blew it under a bush. Ah, uh, weird. I don't even remember dropping it, but... Okay. Thank you, Tara. You saved my butt. I'm looking forward to your performance. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you ready, novice? As much as I'll ever be. Very well. Novice, herbalist, Adap, follow me to the Stone Circle. This keystone opens a path between the Stone Circle and the least dangerous part of the gloaming. I was hoping we could all stay out of the gloaming for decades, but the rate at which magic is flowing from the Wellspring means that's not possible. I will keep them safe, I promise. You know, I shouldn't be surprised by all the flashing sparklies at this point. But they are so pretty. Make good decisions, please. My familiar started clawing at our back door and then prancing over to the couch like it's his. Sebastian's like, why is this cat so chill with you? And I'm like, uh, who knows? Cats, dude. What kind of a witch will you be? A good witch? There are no good witches or bad witches. Only good or bad actions. What? What is this? Ah, uh, yes. The barriers. We've never really understood where they come from. They are impervious to everything but pure magic. So, you'll need to blast it with your wand. Blast it? Oh, well, which spell should I use? No spell. Just point and shoot. Okay. Good. Give it a couple more hits. You'll need to watch your magic reserves in future encounters with them. Whoa. This place is amazing! I know, but be on your guard. It's beautiful, but dangerous. Like me. Sweet snapdragons! I just saw a vine move. Everything here is alive with power from the Wellspring. But they each translate that power differently. We're just looking for a flower, right? Yes. But these ones defend themselves from being picked. That's why they're called hedgehog grass flowers. Hmm. I'm not sure how to get through here yet. Yikes! <sighs> I think we must be getting close. Just keep blasting them with your wand! Is this it? Yes. Now we just need five more. Got it. Good work. Let's get back to the stone. The vines won't attack us as we retreat. We've cowed them into submission. Oh, hold up. I've never seen a plant like this before. I've only heard of them, but I think this is an echo blossom. Whoa. All the petals are covered in crystal. Echo blossoms look normal, but if you grasp the stem, the flower takes a short impression. And if you crack the layer of crystals... Oops! It's so slippery. <sighs> no. No way. <sighs> I hope this works. Echo blossoms are powerful magic. And my mama said 
Not many of them are left, but if I don't make it out of the gloaming tonight, I want someone to know I was here, and these will be my little breadcrumb trail. Gloria, is it true, Violet? That was your mom? I... I can't believe I just... Yeah. That was her. So we know she came this way the night she disappeared. It seems so. Violet, are you alright? What a shock to your system. Oh my god! I saw her! I really saw her! Yes! We should look for more of these. Are you kidding? I'm not letting a single one get away. I need to know everything. Well, before we get into the search, we need to get back and speak with a coven about it. Ugh, fine. But then I want to come right back and begin looking. Six hedgehog grass flowers, just like you asked. Oh, wonderful. Well done, you three. Novice, distill the essence from the flowers in your sanctum. Then brew six potions. We have something else to tell you as well. We found an echo blossom in the gloaming. And... And it had an impression of my mom! She was there the night she disappeared! By all the stars of the first witches. I didn't think echo blossoms grew there anymore. But if all three of you saw the impression of Gloria, we'll have to look into this. For now, herbalist, rest up. Oh, honey, what a day you've had. In the meantime, novice, please attend to the Glamour Neutralization Potion. I hope you can have several cauldrons going. This potion takes a while to brew. I'll get to work on them right away. empty.
The daylight yawns and goes to bed. And now the moon comes out instead. Are the potions ready? Yes, here they are. Wonderful. I'll take one now. Give the rest out to each member of the coven. Thanks. For what? The potion, of course. I haven't given it to you yet. <laughs> Never mind. Here you go, Farseer. Here you go. Thanks, new witch. This smells great. I'll mix it up with some of my own stock when I get back to the bar. Here you go, herbalist. Thanks. I can get used to this new title. Here you go, adept. Appreciated. Plants certainly can be powerful, no? I always thought so, just maybe not so... literally. I've handed out the potions to everyone. Well then, all that is left is to drink your own. Ugh, tastes like grass. If you want to quibble over taste, speak to the journeyman next time. Thank you for all your help. I've been saving these for an emergency, but your propensity for trouble suggests you could use an emergency supply, too. Dawn, dusk, morning, night, hide this place from plainer sight. I wish I'd been with you and the others when you found that Echo Blossom. Gloria was a respected and powerful member of the Coven, but she was also my friend. Morning, Damon. What brings you by? The debate is today. We should uh, get going so we don't miss any of the action. Uh, I wouldn't miss it. Pass the popcorn. <laughs> you sound like Violet. I think she's the only other person hoping Otto goes down in flames. Okay. 
lead the way. Thank you all for coming to our first and last mayoral debate. Mr. Emerson and Mayor Soft have asked me to moderate. First question goes to Mayor Soft. What do you plan to do about the scourge of malcontents plaguing our fair town? Uh-oh, here we go. Thank you for the very neutral and fair question, Messenger Connor. I plan to strengthen our community by growing our neighborhood watch program and implementing a strict curfew of 10 p.m. It will be easier to spot the unsavory characters when law-abiding citizens are safe at home. What? That will torpedo my business! If we could please hold audience questions until the end. Damon's right. This will impact his bar unfairly. He can still be open for happy hour. As if there's anything happy about blowing your day's wages at the bar while your child waits at home. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor Soft. Now, on to a question for Marty Emerson. Mr. Emerson, as a new arrival to the town, how can you already claim to know what it needs more than the incumbent? Well, you're a new arrival, and you're the debate moderator. I... Um... I'm just teasing you, Camp. You're doing a great job. Everyone in this town works really hard, and they deserve a mayor who works hard for them. Sure, we could maintain the status quo, but why not dream bigger? When I look at this town, I see so much potential. So typical. What's wrong with our town the way that it is? If you have a problem with it, move back to the city. Uh, again, if we could save questions until the end. Why can't new arrivals to town have an opinion, Thomas? Of course we can. Under my leadership, all Fairhaven citizens would be treated like equals. I'm ready to take Fairhaven forward into the future. I hope you'll all join me. Thank you, Mr. Emerson. That concludes our ma- You know, considering I helped get your ranch restored, I would have thought you might have some gratitude. Oh, I didn't realize I was supposed to pay that debt with loyalty. Oh, is Mayor Soft into paying debts now? That's news. Now, I don't think that's fair. Everyone, could we please settle down? The election will be in five days. Make your voice heard at the ballot box. <laughs> What a hot mess. I'm worried. How will we meet if Otto really imposes a curfew? He'll never do it. Bruno doesn't even leave the bar before 10 most nights. I hope you're right. So you're definitely gonna vote for Marty now, right? I might have a party in the bar to celebrate on election night. You should come by. So what did you think of Otto's speech at the debate? I don't know. I stand a better chance of getting paid if he keeps his job, right? But it's the principle of the thing. What did you think of the debate, Bruno? Otto knows how I feel about his curfew. Sure, he's had to pick his pop up from the bar once or twice. But I don't make trouble for nobody. Just get a little turn around going home if I've had a few. Time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. Hey, did the debate help you make up your mind about who to vote for, Angus? Maybe. Promise not to tell Francis? Sure. No, uh, oh, I can't say it. Well, but I guess I already gave it away. I hope he won't be too mad at me.
things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Morning, Giver. What are you up to? Headed to see the election results, of course. I can't vote, but I wouldn't miss this for the world. Fancy coming along? Right. Let's go. Here you go, Ter. It's so great to see all our neighbors performing their civic duty. Hmm. Who should I vote for? Forward into the future. Whatever that might bring. Okay. Everyone. We're ready to tally the votes. Okay, settle down, everyone. The final vote count is as follows. Otto Soft, nine votes. Martin Emerson, eight votes. And two write-in votes for Lena Dahl Johnson. What? Lena? What is he talking about? I, I have no idea. I didn't ask anyone to vote for me. Well, I, I did prepare a speech in the hopes that common sense would prevail. As my first act as your newly re-elected mayor, I would like to announce the new members of the friendly Fairhaven Neighborhood Watch, Natalia and Thomas. Lena? Not here, Tara. I have to admit, I'm relieved that the kids are since part. I will. The daylight yawns and goes to bed. And now the moon comes out instead. Welcome, all. <sighs> Ugh. Maintaining the glamour over the stone circle and balancing the wellspring is wearing us too thin. Yeah, managing this and the bar? I feel like a sloth. You already were one. I think I know a way to relieve ourselves of this burden. I have some anemone seeds I never planted. What if one of us plants them in the gloaming? <sighs> You want to harvest them once they've soaked up magic from the wellspring? Uh. Why can't I just plant them on my farm? 
That's not as dangerous. Because the soil on your farm isn't soaked in wellspring magic. Anemones are powerful magical plants that only thrive in places close to the wellspring. We could use the flowers to keep the glamour going without as much work. Exactly. Let me be the one to go back. If there are more Echo Blossoms out there, I'm gonna find them all. But you can't go alone. So I'll go with her. You sure you want to? <sighs> How else will I keep my adrenaline pumping? Besides, I promised Grandma that I'd be there for you. Ordinarily, I wouldn't let the two least experienced coven members go into the gloaming unaccompanied. But we're overwhelmed as it is, so... <sighs> if you let yourselves get hurt in there without me, I'll never forgive you. Chill. We got this! While we were in there last time, I noticed some spinner web had crossed one of our paths. Their webs are incredibly tough, but dissolve in the light of spirit flame. This lantern will channel the spirit flame to destroy the web. And stop you from accidentally burning your eyebrows off. I'm not sure how many such webs will be in your way, so you may need more spirit flame to get through. You'll need to get past them, as I'm certain there are spots where the anemone will thrive in that direction. Oh, let me work the portal this time. Sarah? Let me know when you're ready to go. It's off to work you go! Hey, Feedy! Get to- Hey, Planty! Water some plants for me today? Hey, Woody! Should I?
we'd find more Echo Blossoms. Do you want to listen to it? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Ever since I was a little girl, the wraiths have been getting stronger. Once when I was 10, a wraith escaped, took over poor Mr. Gibson, and he let all his cows loose. <laughs> it was funny then. Not so funny now. I heard about Mr. Gibson. I had no idea he set his cows loose because of a wraith. What else could my mom have told me if she'd been there? I'm sorry, Violet. Don't be sorry. Coming here is the closest I've gotten to her for years. Violet, is that another keystone? It's gotta be. Let's take it back and show the High Priestess. Terrifying streaky ghost thing? Yeah, hard not to. We better get back to the coven. That thing was headed straight for the portal to the stone circle. Woo, that all turned out fine. I take it back. Holy moly, what happened here? That wraith came straight out of the stone circle. We were so worried about you two. It's all good, Lena. Nothing happened to us. Is this our fault? That spirit got through because it's been harder and harder to balance the wellspring. Not your doing, so don't worry yourself about it. During summer, Perry mentioned that she was concerned about the wraiths. Well, as well she should be. They're dangerous spirits born of the places where the wellspring's magic has been sucked dry. Some of those djinn have been trapped inside the gloaming for centuries. This one got past us because it's darker than most, and more powerful. We must find and bind that genie again. Can I help? We must wait for it to reveal itself. In the meantime, be careful getting home tonight.